Whoa, look at that airplane. What is that, a Cessna 170? No, it doesn't look like a 170. Maybe it's a 180. Can't be a 180. Doesn't have any cow flaps. Plus, it looks a little small, to be honest. Oh, that must be one of those Cessna 172s with the tailwheel conversion. I've heard about those. They're really cool. I'm Sean Johnson. Follow along from mode of transportation to expedition to destination to create your own bucket list and experience life from an epic perspective. Hey guys, I thought I'd tell you a little bit about my airplane, what it is, and a little bit about its history. Back in January 1955, Cessna had something completely new up their sleeves. Well, not completely new. Basically, they had a Cessna 180 that everybody loved, and a Cessna 170 that also everybody loved. So, so how do you make something better? Well, their idea was to take the Cessna 180 tail and put it on the Cessna 170. Is that better? I don't know. Some people say that this square tail has better rudder authority than the old round tails of the Cessna 170. I'm not really sure. I just like the way it looks. By May of 1955, however, only three prototypes of the Cessna 170C, which is what the new designation was going to be, was ever created. But people wanted more. I want more! Around that time, Piper came out with something new, something that was just out of the box. Well, maybe not really, but for this type of airplane it was, the Piper Tri-Pacer. Cessna was falling behind in their sails. What are they going to do to try to compete with this? Well, the 170 had a nose wheel STC, which made it look incredibly stupid, but, you know, it is what it is. So they decided to compete with this. They took that STC and put it on their new Cessna 170C model and making it a brand new Cessna 172. Wait, 172. Is that 172? 170 TOO? As in like also a 170? Hmm. Although there have been a few times that the 172 has stopped production, this plane is still being made today. Over 43,000 of these planes have been made. 43,000! That makes this airplane number one in aircraft sales in the world. Anything that's ever been made. That is just incredible. Some people have decided to convert their 172 back to its roots. The Cessna 170C. And that's what I have here. <laughs> about what it is and a little bit of its history. Let's take it up and see how it flies. 